Kotlin's string interpolation has been a much liked feature from the beginning, allowing you to add variables and expressions to strings in a readable and concise way. With Kotlin 2.1, we're adding more flexibility to it. Let's take a look. For example, say I wanted to create a printable bill for a coffee shop to give to their customers after they have made their selections. Let's start by adding the name of the barista to the bill. Let's create a val named barista name and set it to Pamela. Then we want to call the print line function to print out the string your delicious coffee was made by. And then we want to add the barista's name using string interpolation with dollar barista name. When we run this little piece of code, we get your delicious coffee was made by Pamela. But of course, not everybody likes coffee. What if we also sold tasty Kotlin Cola or Cody tea? I'm sure everyone will find something they like on that menu. Let's make our bill more general. We're going to introduce a val is coffee that will be set based on whether your drink is technically a coffee. Let's set it to false for now. Maybe you would rather have some tea in this order. We then add an expression in our print line string. Once again, using string interpolation with dollar, but this time followed with curly braces. In the braces, we have a little bit of code that will result in coffee if is coffee is true or drink if is coffee is false. When we run this piece of code, we get your delicious drink was made by Pamela. So far, nothing new, but still quite convenient. However, string interpolation can get a bit tricky when using the dollar symbol in a static string. Our coffee shop is becoming popular and the owner has asked us to do a little branding on the bill. We only need to add a single println. How bad can it be? So we add another println statement before the rest of our bill with the name of the coffee shop, Cash Cafe. Oh no, this doesn't compile. This is because the compiler is looking for a variable called h. But how do we fix this? Well, a new Kotlin feature called multi-dollar string interpolation can help us here. It is available from Kotlin 2.1 and you'll find instructions on how to enable it in the description below. With multi-dollar string interpolation, we can add a sequence of dollar symbols in front of the string that we want to use as the interpolation symbol. For example, here we are adding two dollar symbols to indicate interpolation instead of a single dollar symbol. Effectively, this means that the compiler now only considers expressions prefixed with two dollar symbols to be used for interpolations. And because there are none of them in the string, nothing is interpolated. So like we originally intended, we now get Cash Cafe. The owner really liked the branding, but asked that their name be included in the header. So let's add a little bit of interpolation in our heading. So we declare an owner name variable and assign the value Cody to it. Then we update the println statement with by, followed by the interpolation double dollar, followed by the owner name variable. When we run all the code, we get Cash Cafe by Cody, your delicious drink was made by Pamela. You can see that multi-dollar string interpolation can become pretty handy if you have a lot of string data with dollar symbols in your code. This happens often with JSON data, PostgreSQL statements and GraphQL statements, for example. Want another example? Let's say our coffee shop is now saving all orders in a GraphQL database. The owner is curious about the performance of the baristas to give them some nice bonus checks. How could we retrieve all the orders for a specific barista? This is what the schema might look like. We have a type order with barista, date and total fields. We also have a barista type with ID and name fields and a query type. And to retrieve all the orders for a specific barista, we'd write the following query operation barista orders. Barista orders takes an ID and looks up all the orders that have a barista with that ID and returns the date and total of those orders. Most importantly, how would we embed this code in our Kotlin code? Once again, 
By adding two dollar signs in front of the string, we are making two dollar signs the interpolation symbol. Because Barista only has one dollar sign, we are not using interpolation and simply tagging it literally. If we wanted to use interpolation, we'd use two dollar signs followed by a variable or expression in curly braces. That's all for now and have a nice coffee. I mean Kotlin. Thanks a latte!